previous episode, we did an unboxing and an overview on our new Japan-made Twinbird Full Automatic Coffee Maker. Join us for the inaugural brew and tasting review. We also provide interpretation of the key features found in the Japanese user's manual. All right, so we're gonna do our maiden voyage of using this coffee machine. Um, we have, there's a good, very good coffee roaster that we have that we go down to Orange County to visit, um, their Portola. And they don't really actually do dark roasts. They, they like the more delicate roast, which is actually part of the reason I like them. So this is a light roast. It's a geisha bean, and um, which is generally a little bit more expensive, but it has, you can see the tasting notes. It says tropical strawberry, honey, and jasmine. So it's a little bit sweeter, a little fruitier coffee bean. And so they're kind of one of the reasons why I actually have a greater appreciation for coffee. So we're gonna use that, so it's gonna be a lighter roast. Um, first thing we're gonna start off, so there's two temperature settings on this machine. There's 83 and 90. Um, unfortunately, the machine, the, the manual is all in Japanese, but generally speaking, I'm gonna use a, because it's a cold, uh, it's a lighter roast, I'm gonna use the hotter setting, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it to 90 degrees. Then, so you pinch here to remove this uh, water water thing, and we'll just toss it on the ground apparently. And then, so I already pre-measured the water, so we're gonna do three cups. So just pour the three, three cups of water in there. All right, and then we will go ahead, pinch again that, so it makes a nice, uh, nice seal. So hopefully that will go ahead and start warming up. Okay, the, the next thing is, um, so we're, we support them for three cups. So that they recommend for a light roast. So they show you kind of in this manual, the, the, like the light roast beans, um, the medium roast beans, and then um, also, I guess, uh, there's also the super dark roast and the, the medium dark roast. So, so I guess I would say light, um, medium light or light medium medium dark and dark so um, those are the three or the four different types of beans you could have again we're doing more of a light roast so they're saying one of the things that it is is almost always you want to measure coffee by weight they're recommending for th uh, for three cups 34 grams to 450 cc's of water so so we're going to follow that guide when we're brewing this um, so, so we have a full-on coffee station. So I think one of the good things is, is we're going to test this out. Um, Susan mentioned to you the cups with the various Chinese characters um, and whatnot. You can see the lines actually are different depending on which one you're going to do. So, so you can see like the lines are different. At different spots on the measurement. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to find out um, I'm going to find out how much beans if they're accurate. So I zero my scale, and then we're going to go ahead and add 34 grams of beans. Actually, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to say, okay, so we're we're going to look for the Chinese character that actually shows us the um, the light. Okay, so that's the Chinese character for light right there. Um, and so we're going to... One of the interesting thing is, is Japan and... Uh, Japan and China... Ch Japan adopted a lot of the Chinese language. So, so that's how they got their written language. And then they also have a phonetic alphabet too. So, but you'll see often a lot of usage of Chinese in there. So. So I measured that out, and I'm gonna tell you the moment of truth. Is that does that give us 34? That actually is giving us 41 grams. So maybe I make it a little bit heavy. So we're gonna take a, a little bit out. Let's see if that. Okay, that's 39. So there's 36. 
seven. Let's see. We're kind of closer to two cup level there. And that's 35 grams. So I am going to say, I'm going to say, if you don't have a measure, um, it's probably going to be a little bit closer because that they're recommending 34. So we have a choice to make. Do we follow their, their measurements on the cup or do we follow their measurements on the, uh, like on the scale? If you don't have a scale, you don't know. So I'm going to, I'm just going to follow what they say. I'm going to go with their 34 ounce or their 40, 34, like two, three cups on their measure. So we're going to see how this turns out. All right, so we unscrew that, pour in that. Okay, so we are setting, so, so there are four different settings here on the menu. Right now we have it in manual or, or maintenance, that's in maintenance. So the bean, if, we, if we're using our whole beans, then we're just going to, since we're just using our whole beans, we put our whole beans in, we're gonna have it use the grinder. If you already have ground pre-ground beans, now I highly recommend against using pre-ground beans. If you're brewing fresh coffee, you actually want to grind your beans almost the same time as you actually brew the coffee. So like we have a separate grinder. So, so like maybe if I felt like using the grinder that we have instead of the grinder here, um, then, uh, then you might actually use the the pre-ground bean setting, that's the, the four dots is for the pre-ground. And then also maybe you wanted to not use the machine uh, to brew your cup of coffee, like you want to do a, like a manual pour over yourself or some other reason. So they say, have this other grind only setting, which is the, the ones with the spike. So you got the bean, it's like we're gonna, the machine will grind the beans for us. There we're using beans that were previously ground there we just want to grind for some other use and others maintenance so that's going to be that we have this set for one two or three cups so we're going to use three cups all right and then the other setting here they recommend to do a medium grind for the light roast so we're going to set that to a medium grind now, one thing here is there's this little lever there. Most coffee brewers have this, but there's a little lever there to make sure it's all the mechanism is. That's like if you're impatient, you want half a brewed cup, you know, to pull a cup, pour a cup of coffee before it's brewed. If you pull all your uh, pot out, it won't continue dumping water. So that's a good, that's a good safety thing just to avoid making big messes. Like I said, most modern coffee makers actually have that feature. So now we're going like that. Now, um, Susan mentioned earlier that these are custom. That's a little bit of a concern for me. I don't like, I like to be able to use more generic stuff. Um, and so maybe they are, have the special density to do quality control, but we just ordered this, this machine from Japan. I don't want to have to reorder like every time I need new filters. I don't want to have to order from my filters from Japan. So we're going to see how that works, but we're going to use their filters to start with. The filters do look like they're a pretty regular standard size. I'd have to look at what that is, um, but you know, just go to the regular store and check to see what you know don't use if you get this don't use up all your filters make sure you take one and figure out what size it is um, we'll try and we'll try and actually post a comment in later to say what size that is we are happy to discover from our old coffee filter stash the number two coffee filter actually could work for your twin bird automatic coffee machine perfectly. As you can see, these are the original filters comes with the machine. And this is the one that we bought from our local store. It has a special tab design, but it just uniquely to the product we bought. And you can see the size exactly the same.
So rest for sure that you can find a number two size coffee filters to fit with your twin burn machine. Okay, so we clean that in. Notice, like I said, this, this depresses that, so it knows there. And then we are going to we put on the, the bean, and we're going to say the moment of truth. We put this start button here, and hopefully, I think we see some. You see that it starts flashing, it's telling you what it's doing. You got the flashing grind. <laughs> I interrupted the process. I just wanted you to see the how fine the the coffee is. It's um, it's actually probably it's pretty good for most pour overs. Um, what what type of density and and whatnot what we would expect. So that's that's good. A little bit of inconsistency in size, but honestly, my other grinder has about the same levels of inconsistency there. So it's no big deal. All right. So this thing is supposed to grind over two minutes. Um, I don't think it was quite that long, but it actually is already, um, almost all of the material is already done. So we just finished that. Now you heat, hear the heater going. Um, so part of me would hope that it was like preheated before the, uh, I would, I would kind of ideally have it preheated ahead of time, so um, that so it would be heated before you actually, or while you're grinding or whatnot, but that is exactly what's going on. When it does start to brew, then what we'll see is we will see, um, it's interesting that you do six different spouts of water that will grind down uh, and uh, spray down into the beans when, that, when that's actually ready to go. So we'll see how that goes. So my trifecta, it would actually, before the, the trifecta is a very special machine in that it used air to stir, the, stir the, the beans and the coffee together. So it created a very consistent, a very consistent cup of coffee. You can adjust how much agitation the air would do into the, into the, it would adjust how much agitation it would have of the bean and water mix. But what it would do is it preheated the water while you're brewing. And actually while it was doing one batch, it would heat another batch of water if you had water in there. So it was kind of ready to go most of the time. They like said that this one seems to be preheating um, so 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 basically it heats after so it grinds and then it heats so um, that's kind of something to take into consideration um, but as far as the trifecta goes it was a really good machine but they discontinued it so um, bun stopped making that they still make the commercial version but the commercial version is like three thousand dollars so so that's a little bit, uh, we're reluctant to pull that trigger. But, uh, so I really enjoyed the machine for their consistency, but the only ones you could possibly get nowadays are used. And uh, like I said, the last one lasted about 10 years before it, uh, 
gave up the ghost. So it's a saying, heating, where are we at on that one? So I don't know if I'm, oh, there we go. So now you see the six spouts of water. They're pouring into the beans, um, creating that bed. So what they do is, and this is actually like, if you were doing a straight pour over, you would do this, this is what you would do, is you would pour a little water, do a little bit pre-infusion, let the water soak into the beans and, and, and whatnot. So that is exactly what you'd want to do. If you're, if you're doing a straight pour over, you pour in the water, let the beans kind of get saturated a little bit, and then you'll start pouring water later after they've had their chance to for the water to soak in. So you, now you see that other phase. So that's actually a really good, again, if I'm doing a pour over, I can't actually just simply pour in that much water. I have to, you know, six spouts, I have to do it over just like one spout because I'm using my one spout uh, a water pour. But you see they pour the water in, let that water, um, let that soak in. So you do it in phases, so as it has time, you're not oversaturating the beans. I'm really so far pretty happy with the way this is, the mechanism's working. It is what we try and do when we're trying to do a straight pour over. So we're pretty happy with that. So far you can see it's actually brewed one cup of coffee. Um, so if we were impatient, we could just pull this out. Remember, there's that mechanism there. So we could just pour it out, tr put in our trial if we were pa impatient. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna be a little bit, try and be a little bit patient here. So. I really wish that, that you all can smell the fragrance from a cooking process. It's amazing. I can't wait to have a taste of the coffee. So we're almost to two cups right now, um, as far as how much is brewed on the side yeah so the side that does have your measure of how much it is got the extra water still brewing down and uh, saturating down from the from the bed of grounds so you can hear that the the pump kind of saying hey pretty much out of water but if I were to look right now you find out that that is it's all the water is used, which I'm actually going to do. And you can see that the reservoir is empty. So, so now we've got the reservoir empty. We're just waiting for the, for the beans to, to finish up, like the water to finish flowing down through the beans. Okay, just beeped, it says, hey, we're done. So, so that's, that's that. You can see there's still a little bit of water on that bed, um, it's, but it's, it's soaking down pretty relatively quickly. Um, so good. I would, I would rate that as a pretty good pouring cycle. I like the fact that it pours the water in and then waits and then, and then pours more in. Like I said, the flow's pretty good flow rate um, and what we kind of target if we're trying to brew um, our own pour overs, which we do on occasion. Uh, a little bit more lately since we haven't had our trifecta. And, uh, so we're doing that. This is where we're still not completely patient. We're still, there's still a little bit dripping out and we just hold that over the cup, so. 
good good lights good, good light smell very good mouth feel trying to taste some of those flavors remember there's this tasting notes that we talked about uh, I think it has it comes out with a really good flavor so it, it extracts a good flavor from the coffee so we're pretty happy with it uh, and uh, I count it as a success so cheers <music>I, I think that overall, one of the things I want to try was I want to try with um, the weighted towards the, I want to try the weighted uh, measurement and see how that does and uh, to do that. Right now, the flavor is a little bit, uh, a little bit stronger and I'm just curious how it'll do with a slightly, I think we said that there's about 41 grams of coffee and I want to see how it is when we drop it down to what they recommend 34. So it'll be interesting to try that and see if there's a difference in the taste. But overall, I am happy with the, uh, the, f the process and the flavor of it. I think it's good. So no complaints. Thank you. Thank you to join our uh, unboxing together. If you have any comments or you know more about this machine and you have tried it before, uh, please leave us a comment. We like to know. And thanks again for watching this episode with us. See you next time. Bye.